What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today is Zer Day, which means Zer is back. He's at the tower and let's see what he has for week number 44. I'm not sure what week it is, I think it's around there. But uh, he's down here in the hangar with all the music and the cool dudes hanging out. And let's see what he has. So here's his inventory for the weekend, pretty good stuff. Got a couple new armor pieces, so let's get into it. For the Titan, we have the Eternal Warrior Helmet. It is the new House of Wolves Titan Helmet. It has Intellect Discipline, which is really good stats. And the perks are more super energy from non-Guardian kills. Replenish health when you pick up an orb and provides Unstoppable for Fists of Havoc. Um, I'm not sure how good this helmet is. I'm guessing it's not a super good helmet, but I do like the Intellect Discipline. And Unstoppable is pretty good in certain scenarios, especially in Crucible. Um, but there are better helmets, but I'd still pick it up because I want to add it to my collection. For the Hunter, we have the Crest of Alpha Loopy chest piece. It has full strength on it and it has revived teammates faster, spawn more orbs, carry more ammo for special weapons, and hand cannons. Really good chest piece, really good for Trials of Osiris and 3 3 game modes as well. Um, just overall good for small team games. I recommend it if you still have yet to grab this. For the Warlock, we have the Purifier Robes chest piece, the new House of Wolves exotic for the Warlock. This one has discipline and strength. Um, I wish it had intellect and discipline or something else instead of discipline and strength. But discipline and strength are not the worst on a Warlock because when you activate Radiance, your cooldowns for your melee and your grenade will be even faster depending on how much discipline and strength you have. Uh, but anyway, this one has activating radiance from death disorients nearby enemies. Causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown and causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. So it's based all around radiance and using fireborn specifically from the grave. And basically it blinds your enemies. Really good in Trials of Osiris on certain maps. Not all maps um, does this make really good uh, plays with. But um, overall decent chess piece. I'm probably going to buy this as well because I have yet to get this one as well. And then for the gun we have the Plan C Exotic Fusion Rifle. Charge and equip times are very short immediately after weapon swap. And this weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. Uh, pretty decent fusion rifle, Plan C, one of the best fusion rifles in the game probably. Uh, but I don't really use fusion rifles, so if you like fusion rifles, this is a really good one uh, to try out. And then finally is the exotic helmet engram again if you guys want to gamble for this or Celestial Nighthawk or the Ram, um, some of those new ones. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!